Hi YouTube, this is a Groovin' Chick and today I'm going to show you how to make chocolate bowls. They're so pretty and elegant to use when you have dinner parties or even on a buffet. I like to serve ice cream or um, fruit in the, the chocolate bowls. Uh, they're really simple to make. All you need are chocolate and balloons. I bought some uh, inexpensive balloons at my dollar store and I used a hand pump and blew them up. And then you can use either um, chocolate chips or you can use candy melts and I use the yellow candy melts for this. Wilton makes these candy melts in lots of different colors, so if you were having a baby shower or a bridal shower, I'm sure they have a color that would uh, go with your color scheme. Now you can melt these uh, on a double boiler, or you can melt them in the microwave, which is what I did. So let's get started, and I'm gonna show you how simple it is to make this. Let me move this one out of the way, and I will get my chocolate out of the microwave. Now we all know I'm pretty clumsy, so let's see if I can do this with one hand. Now you want to do this in a microwave safe bowl, and you want to make sure that you use a mitt because your bowl will be really hot. And let me stir and make sure it's the consistency that I want. Now when you do your micro, uh, microwave to melt your chocolate, you want to do it in about 20 second intervals because you don't want your chocolate to overheat because if it overheats, it will get clumpy and there's nothing you can do about it. There, you cannot reverse it. Okay, I'm going to take a spoon and I'm going to take and put a little circle of chocolate on my parchment paper. That will help my balloon to set up nice and straight. And when I get through with it here, let me flatten that out just a little bit. And there we go. Now I'm going to take my balloon that I've already blown up and I'm going to dip it in my chocolate. Now, you can go up as far as you want or as shallow as you want with this, and you just kind of rock and roll your balloon a little bit. And then you just pull it out gently and see if that's as high as you want it or as thick as you want it, and it is. So you let it drip off the bottom of your balloon, and then you set it onto your little blob of chocolate that you made. Now you want to put that in your refrigerator for about 30 minutes for it to firm up. And I've already got a couple of it here. I'm going to show you. All you have to do now, bring it over here. And I'm going to take a pin and pop my balloon. Okay, you can see that your balloon pop and it's still attached a little bit in the bottom so all you have to do is gently pull it out not I use I like to use two hands to pull it out because um, I don't want to break my bowl so I'll show you what it looks like after I have um, pulled one completely out that's what it looks like now this one has a little hole in it so all I'm going to do is just take a little bit of chocolate and fill that hole up let me show you how to do that I guess it's a good thing I had a little flub here so I could show you how to correct it. Take a little bit of chocolate on my spoon and I just put a little bit of chocolate over that. Nobody's going to complain because it's going to be filled with berries and ice cream and nobody's really going to know. And this is what it looks like when it's through. It looks so pretty. If you like my videos, please click like. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Until the next time, this is the Groovin' Chick out.